Welcome to a brand new series here on Geekdom 101 called the Geekdom 101 Transformation Guide where we're going to look at every single transformation, well almost every transformation in Dragon Ball, not just from the good guys but also from the bad guys and we're going to start here in this first edition of the Geekdom 101 Transformation Guide discussing the first transformation we ever saw in Dragon Ball and that is the Great Ape form known in Japan as Uzaru. I thank you for watching and joining me on this awesome ride as we go through the transformations in Dragon Ball. We're going to begin the Geekdom 101 Transformation Guide by discussing the very first transformation that we saw from the main protagonist of Dragon Ball, Son Goku, all the way back in manga chapter 21 of Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball episode 12, and that is the Great Ape form, otherwise known as Uzaru. Now, for those who may not remember, the Great Ape form is a form that Saiyans, Saiyajin, transform into when they stare at the full moon and it increases their strength tenfold. Now you must understand that at the time when we first saw Goku become a great ape, Toriyama had not yet even thought up the idea of Goku being an alien or being a Saiyan or any of that stuff. That was stuff he came up with later on. The reason why Goku was able to become a great ape and the idea that he sort of implemented came from the legend of werewolves transforming at the full moon but also the inspiration behind Goku is Journey to the West main character Sun Wukong, the great monkey king. In fact, in early character models for Dragon Ball before the manga had begun, Toriyama had at one time even thought of making Goku an actual monkey, but instead what he did was he made him a humanoid character who would transform into a monkey. And this is way before he even came up with the idea for him to be an alien. That was, like I said, thought of later on. Now, an interesting fact about the great ape form is that the Dragon Ball GT Perfect Files guidebooks state that the Saiyans were originally great apes who later learned how to control their humanoid form and attain sentient intelligence. Now understand that when we discuss the GT Perfect Files or any of the Daizen Shoes or Chozen Shoes, the guidebooks, these are supplementary books that were made by the staff of Toei with some Toriyama input, but People have debated for years about how serious we must take these books because there are tons of contradictions within these books that don't quite vibe with the series and some of the extra information, although it may be helpful, is contradictory to what is said in the franchise or Toriyama later on would change anyway. So, as I've always said, we can use the books but they must be taken with a grain of salt. And it's always a good idea to cross-reference what's in the guidebooks with what's actually in the manga and the anime so we can get an actual picture, a clear picture of what is going on. Now, if you want to learn more about where Toriyama got his inspiration from for the Great Ape form, I did a Dragon Ball in-depth video about the Uzaru transformation in detail, so I suggest you check that video out because it is a good companion piece to this video right here because this video is going to be a much more simplified version of the form explanation versus that one which is more of a look at the lore behind the form and the inspiration King Kong and things of that nature you know I talk about a lot of in-depth stuff on that because it is of course Dragon Ball in-depth so as the series progressed we saw Goku become a great ape various times and we found out that when he gets his tail cut off he would then revert back to human form but in due time, his tail would grow back. The first time that we saw Goku become a great ape was, as I stated, Dragon Ball Episode 12, Manga Chapter 21, when Goku and the rest of the gang were trapped in Pilaf's castle. Goku took a look at the full moon and destroyed the entire castle, becoming the Uzaru for the very first time in the series. And again, this is way before he would officially be revealed as an alien Saiyan. 
And apparently we found out later on that he did become a great ape even before this with his grandpa Gohan and eventually accidentally killed him. And that's the fate of Grandpa Gohan. We don't find this out until much later. Now, Goku would once again become a great ape during the 21st Tenkaichi Budokai in the finals as he faced off against Jackie Chun, which is Master Roshi in disguise. And Roshi did not elect to cut off Goku's tail. Instead, he destroyed the moon, which would later on be brought back by God, aka Kami, and Goku's tail would be removed permanently so that way it would never grow back and would never cause Goku to tap into this power again which many believed at the time was a detriment because Raditz and other pure-blooded Saiyans would come in later and say that the tail is the secret power of a Saiyan but when Goku becomes a great ape and also Gohan they become completely mindless and they lose control of who they are and they'll attack anybody including their own friends and family. Krillin even discusses that one time that he believes that when they get into this power they regain that Saiyan savagery that they had in their blood. Now other characters like Vegeta have been able to excessively train themselves so well that he was able to tap into the great ape form and be in complete control of himself and he's not the only one. Other Saiyans that we see in the Bardock special and other you know, Dragon Ball material who are pure blood trained on planet Vegeta learned how to tap into this power. The first time that we saw somebody other than Goku turn into a great ape was in manga chapter 208 Dragon Ball Z episode 8 when Gohan being of course the son of Goku and Chi Chi having that same blood running through his body once again like his father, would become a great ape and Piccolo destroyed the moon yet again when he realized that it was the cause of Gohan's mutation. Now, the first time that we saw the controlled version of this was manga chapter 233 of Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z episode 31 when Vegeta was able to create an artificial moon using the planet's oxygen to transform into a great ape because Piccolo had destroyed the moon. Now what we found out later on as well is the scientific explanation of the great ape form. When Toriyama was writing Dragon Ball, everything was much more magical, mystical, and rooted in fantasy. Whereas when Dragon Ball Z came around, we started to see the author sort of incorporate more of a science fiction element to the story. And thus we find out that Vegeta uses the power ball technique to create what's called brutes waves or blutz waves and these are measured in these units called zeno and essentially what happens is when a saiyan's eyes and skin absorb 17 million zeno of moon reflected sunlight the reaction occurs in their tails which triggers their body and thus the transformation begins and the warrior in question becomes 10 times stronger. So it is a 10 times multiplier according to various sources. Now another tidbit that appears to be a filler only I guess factoid is that some of the Saiyan space pods actually project holograms of the moons that were able to reflect enough artificial blutz waves to where it would trigger the transformation as if there was a actual moon that of course was in a filler episode of dragon ball z not in the manga but it's still something that should be noted the primary form of attack of a great ape is of course destruction but the one technique that we see is the saiyan great ape mouth blast which is essentially a tribute to godzilla's nuclear breath move that he's used throughout the years because Toriyama loves King Kong and Godzilla so that's the power that we witness in the great ape form now obviously Dragon Ball Evolution completely changed this and created their own sort of version of Uzaru which is not anything close to what the original manga was except for the fact that Goku transforms but I don't really want to discuss that here because most Dragon Ball fans really despise that movie and it changed things and I want to stick to just anime and manga official stuff. So if you're looking for me to go into that form, I just 
there's no point because you know it's wrong, right? Now, being a great ape is a very important part of a Saiyan's biology to the point where this transformation, this power, is referenced time and time again in Dragon Ball, even beyond its usefulness. If you pay close attention, you will notice that when Goku becomes a Super Saiyan or when Gohan becomes Super Saiyan 2 or when Goku did Super Saiyan 3 in Dragon Ball Z, you can hear the roar of a great ape in the background if you listen to the clean Japanese audio if you watch the dub you can't really hear it but in the Japanese audio it's crystal clear that as they scream you hear the Uzaru inside of them roaring and this was also brought back in Dragon Ball Super when Goku did Ultra Instinct you could sense the savagery inside of them naturally in Dragon Ball GT we saw the golden great ape transformation which was a total throwback to the original Uzaru form but I I will be discussing that in a future edition of the Geekdom 101 Transformation Guide. So look forward to that in the future. We'll talk about that later. But even now with Dragon Ball Super Broly, we find out in that film, according to Paragus, that Broly was able to tap into the power of a great ape and attain that 10 times multiplier while still maintaining his humanoid form. And to me, that is once again the series doing a throwback to the original Saiyan heritage, but also a big chunk of that movie took place in the past when that was still a relevant transformation. At this point, the main characters all have god power and it's just beyond anything that the great apes could even deal with, but it was the first transformation in Dragon Ball and the first one, really the most appropriate one, to kick off this series. One more thing before we leave here. I want to talk about Dragon Ball Super and Universe 6. We find out that Universe 6 Saiyans have evolved to where they don't have tails anymore. So presumably speaking, the Universe 6 Saiyans cannot transform into great apes. And it seems like the Universe 6 Saiyans didn't even know that you could even do this or even tap into this power. So we don't really know if they have a different way of transforming with blood waves or if there's a machine like in Dragon Ball GT. But it's interesting that the evolution of this race changes depending on what universe they're in and depending on the conditions of said universe. So it makes me really question that those GT Perfect Files aren't exactly accurate when compared to what Kaba said because it seems like they actually were not originally great apes and that they became it due to certain natural conditions that are probably never going to get explained because Toriyama leaves a lot of details out. So anyways, that's it. Thank you for watching the first edition of the Transformation Guide and I'll see you in the next one.